Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Sheikh Sadaf from Adura Maur. Welcome you all in this beautiful world of Alpha Classes Handwara. Today, once again, I am here to present a brief and precise presentation on the topic from surface chemistry that is adsorption under the guidance of one of my favorite teacher, Mubashir Sir. So let's start our lecture. Before starting the adsorption, let me tell you what is surface chemistry. I know you are thinking that surface chemistry must be the chemistry related to the surfaces. Yes, you are right. The surface chemistry it, uh, is actually the chemistry which deals with the um, nature of surfaces and the phenomena occurring on the surfaces. So we define the surface chemistry as Surface chemistry is the branch of chemistry which deals with the nature of surfaces and the phenomena occurring on the surfaces. Now what are these surfaces? Surfaces are actually the boundaries which separate two phases. For example, we separate a solid from gas or liquid from liquid, sometimes we call it as interfaces. For example, this is the solid phase and above it is air. This layer which separates this solid phase from the gaseous phase is known as surfaces or interface. So there are different kinds of interfaces, for example, solid gas interface, liquid liquid interface, liquid gas interface and uh, solid solid interface. But gas gas interface does not exist uh, because gases are miscible, they mix up with each other. So there is no uh, boundary between two gases. There is no boundary which can separate two gases from each other because gases are miscible in each other. <coughs> Now we have studied about surface chemistry and what are the surfaces. Now what's the fun of studying this surface chemistry? I'll tell you that this surface chemistry has a great role in our day-to-day -day life. See how in our body various life processes are occurring and those life processes are occurring only because of the presence of enzymes in our body. And those enzymes work upon the principle of catalysis, which catalysis is a part of this surface chemistry. Another example is that in our body blood is circulating, blood is a colloidal solution and colloids are also a part of this surface chemistry. Milk is a colloidal solution which is an important nutritive material so uh, that, is on, that comes uh, under the category of this surface chemistry. Another example is that corrosion. If we will observe the rusting of iron, that is also a surface phenomena and is studied under this surface chemistry. So by these uh, examples, I am sure that you have got a clue that uh, this surface chemistry has a great role in our day-to-day -day life. Mm. There are many um, surface phenomena occurring uh, in the surrounding of us. Uh, so in this particular lecture, we will uh, study one of the surface, chem surface uh, phenomena that's adsorption. Now what is adsorption? Adsorption is actually the accumulation of the molecular species on the surface of another substance. Adsorption is the accumulation of molecular species on the surface, not the bulk, but only on the surface of another uh, substance. For example, if we will ha wash our hands, the water will not penetrate into our uh, tissues uh, or uh, into our bulk material of our uh, hand, but it will remain only on the skin of our hand. That, that, uh, that is a surface phenomena and is called as adsorption. Another example is that if uh, we will dip a chalk uh, into the water, now uh, then we will break that chalk. We will see that the uh, surface of the chalk will be wet and uh, our, uh, inside the chalk there will be dry. So we uh, come to know that the water molecules have accumulated on the surface of chalk only, not in the bulk of chalk. So that is also an example of uh, adsorption. This adsorption is a uh, surface phenomena. In this adsorption, we use two terms. Uh, 
um, for, um, one is uh, adsorbent and second is adsorbate to differentiate whether um, what molecule is being adsorbent and um, on which it is being adsorbent. There are two terms. First is adsorbate. Adsorbate is that component uh, which gets adsorbed on the surface of another substance. The substance which gets adsorbed is called as adsorbate. For example, I have given you the washing of hands uh, as an example in that uh, the water is an uh, adsorbate. The second is adsorbent. Adsorbent is that substance on which the adsorption takes place. That substance on which the adsorption takes place is called as adsorbent. Uh, in, our, in case of the example I have given you, in case of hands, the hand is an adsorbate and the water is adsorbent. Uh, hand is adsorbent and the water is adsorbate. Similar to solutions, in solutions we see two components, solvent and solute. Um, in this adsorption, we see two components, adsorbate and adsorbent. Adsorbate is that component which gets adsorbed and the adsorbent is that component on which adsorption takes place. Now, if we will create some conditions, um, either by increased temperature or we will decrease the pressure uh, in such a way that these adsorbate molecules, that these adsorbate molecules will uh, be removed from the adsorbent, we say that desorption has taken place. So, desorption is the removal of adsorbate molecules from the surface of adsorbent. Desorption is the removal of adsorbate molecules from the surface of adsorbent. Now, there is a term similar to adsorb uh, in appearance to adsorbent, but they are quite different from each other, that is absorption. Adsorption is the accumulation of molecular species on the surface only. But this um, absorption is the distribution of uh, molecular substance throughout the bulk. It involves the surface as well as bulk. But the adsorption only involves the surface molecules. It involves surface plus bulk. It involves only surface. Adsorption invol uh, involves only surface molecules, but adso uh, absorption involves both surface as well as bulk molecules. Now, if there is a condition in which adsorption and absorption both takes place, now we can then, then we say that adsorption has taken place. Absorption is that process in which both adsorption and absorption take place simultaneously. For example, dyeing of fabric. If we dye a fabric in a colored water, the colored particles of the colored water will get absorbed on that uh, cloth and uh, the water molecules will be absorbed in that cloth. So, uh, in there, uh, and absorption has taken place. So, absorption involves both the adsorption and uh, absorption, both the phenomena are occurring in the absorption at the mm, same time. Now, we will see the mechanism of adsorption. By seeing the mechanism of, of adsorption, uh, we can find the answer of two questions. First, uh, how adsorption takes place and the second, uh, how it is surface phenomena. Let's suppose a glass full of water. If we will suppose this molecule, it is a bulk molecule.
it is surrounded by four other atoms similar atoms and these four atoms will exert a force on this molecule this will exert in uh, downward direction and here upward direction this direction and leftward force will be cancel out with the rightward force and downward force will be cancel out with the upward force though so this bulk molecule is experiencing a zero um, net um, force or it is experiencing a zero unbalanced force now we will take the example of surface molecule that is this molecule it's a surface molecule surface it is surrounded by three atoms uh, three similar atoms those three similar atoms will exert a force on this molecule leftward force will be cancelled with rightward force but there is no particle which can cancel out the force exerted by this downward particle so in this particle a force is generated known as residual attractive force in this surface molecule a force is um, being a force is uh, generated known as residual attractive force and with that uh, residual attractive force it is a uh, unbalanced force it has a net uh, force on it so if any surface comes in contact with these surface molecules these surface molecules will attract that substance and will get adsorbed on that substance so this is a surface phenomena because the surface molecules in order to surface molecules are experiencing an unbalanced force in order to balance that unbalanced force experienced by these surface molecules if any su uh, surface comes in contact with these molecules they attract that and uh, get adsorbed on that so uh, by this uh, mechanism we can uh, define the adsorption in another way as it is the attracting and retaining the molecules of adsorbate on the surface of adsorbent by this experiment we can give another definition to adsorb uh, adsorption as it is the attracting and retaining the molecules of adsorbate on the surface of adsorbent now we have uh, cleared that it is a surface phenomena and we have understood the mechanism of this adsorption now we will see the classification of this adsorption this adsorption is being classified in two ways first is first classification is based on the adsorption of uh, adsorbate on the surface of adsorbent based on this criteria there are two types of adsorption first is positive adsorption and second is negative adsorption positive adsorption is the adsorption in which uh, there is a concentration of solute molecules is more on the surface as compared to the bulk in the positive adsorption there is solute particles are more on the surface than in the bulk negative adsorption involves the um, solute particles are less on the surface than in the bulk in positive adsorption solute particles are more on the surface than in the bulk in negative adsorption solute particles are more in the bulk than in the surface we can say that here more particles of solvent are on the surface molecules are more on surface example of positive adsorption is uh, if we place a charcoal in the concentrated kcl 
and there occurs positive adsorption now if we will place the charcoal in the uh, um, diluted hcl um, kcl there occurs negative adsorption now this was all about positive and negative adsorption the second classification is based on the force of attraction between the adsorbate and adsorbent based on the force of attraction between adsorbate and adsorbent there are two types of adsorption first is physical adsorption or physisorption second is chemical adsorption or chemisorption physical adsorption involves the um, weak van der waals force of attraction between adsorbate and adsorbent chemical adsorption involves the chemical bond formation between adsorbate and adsorbent here involves chemical bond formation in this physical adsorption no activation energy is required because there occurs weak van der waals force of attraction between adsorbate and adsorbent in chemical adsorption there occurs bond formation so activation energy is uh, used so sometimes it is also called as activated uh, adsorption this physical adsorption is also non specific uh, that is uh, it shows a uh, same response for every adsorbate and adsorbent but this chemical uh, adsorption is a uh, specific in nature because it shows some uh, special response to special adsorbate molecules in this physical adsorption the uh, low temperature favors the physical adsorption uh, high temperature favors the chemical adsorption because some activation energy is needed to uh, for the bond formation in this chem physical adsorption there is low heat of adsorption now what's the heat of adsorption heat of adsorption is the uh, energy released when one mole of uh, adsorbate molecule is adsorbed on the surface of adsorbent when one mole heat of adsorption is when one mole of adsorbate is being adsorbed on the surface of adsorbent now this physical adsorption has low heat of adsorption chemical uh, adsorption has high heat of adsorption in this um, physical adsorption also multi molecular layer formation takes place and chemical adsorption involves only mono molecular layer formation now in this lecture we have studied about surface chemistry what is surface chemistry surface chemistry is the branch of chemistry which deals with the nature of surfaces and the phenomena occurring on the surfaces after that we have studied the role of surface chemistry in our day to day life for example in our body enzymes are present which are a part of surface chemistry blood uh, is a colloidal solution that is also a part of surface chemistry and uh, many more examples after that we have started our today's topic that is adsorption what's adsorption adsorption is uh, actually the accumulation of molecular species on the surface of another sub, um, another substance and then then we see the um, classification of adsorption that is uh, there are two types of uh, classifications they are they are uh, classified in two ways first classification is based on the adsorption of uh, adsorbate on the su uh, surface of adsorbent there are two types of uh, adsorption first is positive and second is negative positive adsorption involves the uh, more a concentration of solute on a surface than in the bulk but negative adsorption involves uh, the less concentration of solute on the surface uh, than in the bulk uh, second classification was based on the force of attraction between uh, adsorbate and adsorbent uh, there are also two types of adsorption first is physical adsorption and second is chemical adsorption physical adsorption in involve this weak van der waals uh, force of attraction between adsorbate and adsorbent and chemical adsorption involves chemical bond formation between adsorbate and adsorbent so thank you